Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be looking at a previous Specialist Mathematics SACE exam question. This is from the 2012 external examination. Uh, this is question one of section A, which looks at some basic calculus concepts from the course. It is a seven mark question. So as you can see here, we're introduced to a figure which represents a graph that is described by parametric equations. And uh, we can see that it is similar to the original symbol that was adopted by the Australian Broadcasting Com Corporation, the ABC. So, the question starts by giving us two parametric equations for the curve. So given the parametric equation of x and parametric equation of y, and we're also given a uh, domain there as well, 0 less than or equal to t, less than or equal to 2 pi. The first part of the question, um, looks at finding dy on dt for one mark, and this is simply a matter of applying the basic rules of differentiation to the parametric equation for y. When we uh, differentiate sine free t, remember we obviously bring out the um, constant there, and we put that in front, so we have free, and then what we do is we differentiate the sine term, so it's cosine, and we end up with dy on dt as being free cos free t. For x, we do a similar thing. We know that the first derivative of x equals cos t is evidently going to be negative sine t. That should be uh, from the basic uh, formulas that you should remember from the differentiation topic. So now we're asked to find dy on dx, and it's actually quite simple to do. We have um, dy on dt and dx on dt. We can see here, just for doing a little bit of algebra, just to convince ourselves, if we have dy on dt times dt on dx, which is essentially the same as having dy dt on dx dt, then we end up with dy dx. So it's simply a matter of writing dy on dt on dx dt, as you can see here. So we use the results from i and ii of the first part of the question. We're then on to the final stretch here. And we're told that the point P, which is a point on this uh, curve that is described by two parametric equations, is uh, actually given at a value of t equals pi on 4. What we do is we are given the original parametric equations in the question, so it's simply a matter of substitution. From this, we find that the coordinates of the point P in third form, we use our unit circle, or your member the actual um, values from the unit circle, and we know that obviously we're going to end up with 1 on square root 2 and 1 on square root 2 as being that point. Okay, so now what we do is we find the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point P. So in order to do this, we consider our dy on dx because of course that is going to be indicative of the slope and in order to find the slope of the tangent at that point, we simply substitute in pi on 4. So we end up with 3 cos 3 pi on 4 divided by negative sine pi on 4. Using our unit circle, or just general knowledge, we can see we're going to end up with this expression here. However, we have the same thing in the numerator and the denominator, so we can cancel it and find that the slope is equal to 3. Now for the last part, which is worth 2 marks, which is pretty much the largest allocation for this question, because it's a very, very straightforward question, really easy opener to the exam. What we uh, do is we have y take the y-coordinate we identified, and x take the x-coordinate that we identified, equal to the slope. We can now rearrange this. So we end up with y equals 3x. Again, I'm bringing this term into the right-hand side, and I'm using the distributive law. So I end up with 3x take 3 on square root 2, and then what I do is I move the negative 1 on root 2 over to the other side. So I plus 1 on root 2. And we end up with 3x take 2 on root 2. And if that simplifies quite nicely because we can see if it's 2 on root 2, we can rewrite the top as square root 2, square root 2. The square root 2s will cancel and we're just left with square root 2. So we can write the equation of the tangent as being 3x take square root 2. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on question 1 of the 2012 SACE Specialist Mathematics exam. I'll have some more questions from that exam shortly. Thank you for watching.